In this video, I'm going to give you an intro to Compound Paths and the Pathfinder palette. So I've got my simple solid shape here, and I want a hole in the shape. I could make it look like I've got a hole in the shape by drawing a circle, and I'm going to change the fill to white. And if I put this over top, it looks like there's a hole in there but only if my background is white. So I'm going to draw a bigger rectangle, give it a light tint of gray just so we can see the difference. And here you can see that this no longer looks like a hole, it looks like a white circle on another shape. So I'm going to select both of these shapes and I want the circle perfectly in the middle of the rectangle, so I'm going to align their centers. And then I have two options. I can make it a compound path by going to Object, Compound Path, Make on a Mac that's Command 8. And now you can see that that circle's become sort of punched out of the rectangle. And that this is a compound path. So this rectangle also has a lower opacity, so you can see that overlap and the hole right through it if I move it around. So I'm going to undo that so I'm back to having the two shapes. So again, they're both selected. I could also use my Pathfinder palette. So there's some options here that you can play with. If we want something like the compound path, we can use the minus front option. So while this is slightly different in how it's actually working, we get the same result, and it's absolutely fine for a lot of simple shapes. So we could use minus front, and I'm going to do undo just to get back to where I was. We have this um, unite option. So if I pull this out here, and I'm going to switch to my eyedropper tool. So I have the circle selected, but I'm going to click on my rectangle, and that will give them the bo both the same attributes. Just a nice little shortcut to use the eyedropper like that. So I'll select both and I'll choose Unite. And now those two shapes are grafted into one. There's no separation. I don't have any anchor points showing me where the circle was. So now I have this one unique shape without having to very tediously, carefully draw that with the pen tool and try to get it perfect. I can just get a few shapes together and then use Unite and Pathfinder to get them together. So there are some other options in here, but those are the most useful. So again, minus front does the same as a compound path. It subtracts the front object from the back, and Unite will put two shapes together. If you want to do a full compound path, I'm going to set these back to what they were. We can have a shape or shapes on top of a larger shape go to object, compound path, make, and that front shape or shapes will be cut out of the back one and be a compound path. So that's a quick intro to the Pathfinder and compound paths in Illustrator.